not all hackers are the same. There are different motivations for people to start hacking. Some want to make a legal living, while others want to make money illegally. In this video we will take a look at the various hats a hacker can wear. These hats stand for their motivations. White hat hackers. This group is often referred to as ethical hackers. These are the good guys who try to find vulnerabilities in computer networks or company computers within the legal framework. Black hat hackers. These are the people who are mentioned in the news when it comes to criminal activities on the internet. They abuse their acquired knowledge to infect systems with malware in order to, for example, obtain money illegally. Their stolen goods also include usernames, passwords, intimate photos for the purpose of blackmailing for example, business secrets and credit card information. They use not only technical but also human vulnerabilities in IT systems. Grey hat hackers. This group operates within a legal grey area. They interpret ethical issues relating to hacking in their own favor and use them to justify their actions. For example, they publish IT vulnerabilities in companies to force them to take action. The motivation may also be money-driven rather than ethical or idealistic. However, the actions of grey hat hackers often conceal a morally justifiable motivation. Green hat hackers. Green hat hackers are basically hackers in training. Their motivation is to learn more about the world of hacking. They learn from a wide variety of sources and are keen to expand their knowledge. That means they hack primarily because they want to learn something new and improve their skills. Red Hat Hackers This group practices vigilantism on the internet. If someone commits a crime that is directly related to the internet or can be solved via the internet, the Red Hat Hackers try to solve the crime on their own. This may not sound morally reprehensible at first, but in practice it might also be a criminal offense and should be avoided. Vigilantism should not be the method of choice in any area, as this is precisely why we have a constitutional state and corresponding authorities to deal with these issues. Once you start to legalize the concept of vigilantism, then you are sailing in dangerous waters. The authorized investigation of crimes via the internet, for example by hacking online accounts or illegally obtaining private data, is punishable by law and should be avoided. Blue Hat Hackers A blue hat hacker could more or less be described as a vengeful spirit. Like red hat hackers, a blue hat hacker specifically goes after people who have harmed him or others who are important to him. His motivation is revenge, that means people who want to independently solve a murder that only affects them out of their sense of justice belong in the class of red hat hackers. Their head turns blue as soon as the murder affects them personally, for example because a family member has been killed. Script Kitties This group of hackers relies almost exclusively on programs and tools to attack targets. They often have little to no technical knowledge and use hacking primarily for self-expression or to willfully cause damage. Hacktivists Hacktivists are politically motivated hackers. They pursue a political agenda with their hacks and therefore often target government websites. They try to change the websites or take them down with DDoS attacks. An example for this type of hacker is the Anonymous Collective. What's the color of the hat you are wearing? Feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.